Hey guys, in today's video I'm taking part in the Spring DIY Floral Challenge. This challenge is being hosted by Heidi Sambo and Lindsay from the Domer Home, and it is part of a collaboration, so there are many other YouTubers who are taking part in the same challenge, so I will leave a link below to both of their channels and to the playlist, so make sure you go check it out after you watch this video. So this is a challenge that they have done before, but this time they challenged us to do something a little different. They asked us to make our own flowers. At first, I'm not going to lie, I was really discouraged by that. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to make, and I couldn't think of anything, and I ended up going on Pinterest, of course, and I found some really cute lace ones, and I thought, I don't have lace, but I have ribbon, so you'll see I made some ribbon flowers for my decor. And we were all supposed to um, share with you what we spent on the project. It is a wreath, and the only thing I had to buy was a $1 floral wreath foam wreath circle thingy. That's all I had to buy. I already had the ribbon, I already had greenery, so if I had to buy that stuff, I probably still could have spent maybe $5 at the dollar store. So it was a really inexpensive DIY, and I really love how it turned out. It didn't take me very long at all to make, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you like DIYs, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thank you guys again for watching. So for the ribbon flowers, you're going to clearly need ribbon. You're going to need some thread, a needle, and a hot glue gun. Now one tip that I have for you is to not cut the thread off of the spool until you have decided how long you want your ribbon based on how big you want your flower. The more ribbon you have, the fatter or thicker your flower will be. So to start, I just fold over the edge of the ribbon and I'm gonna do what I believe is called a running stitch. If someone knows what this stitch is called and I'm saying it wrong or I've labeled it wrong, just let me know in the description or in the um, comments below because I'm not a sewer. I looked up what the stitch was called and I believe I found it. It's called a running stitch. You're basically just weaving your needle up and down, up and down, up and down through the ribbon so that you can eventually scrunch the ribbon together. So I am satisfied with how thick this flower is going to be, so I am done with it. And you can see I'm just kind of scrunching and pulling the ribbon down, and then I'm just going to knot the end. And the end's going to get super glue, so if the knot isn't perfect, it's not a huge deal. Now I'm going to actually make the flower. And I started with just hot gluing the end again to secure it and to start the first roll. And you're going to see that every once in a while I just add some hot glue and turn the ribbon. And I'm only gluing, this is the part of the ribbon that's cinched together. This is the part that has the thread end on it. And that's the part that you want to hot glue. Once you're at the stage where it is a flower, I just put a whole bunch of hot glue on the underside of it just to keep it together. 
just for security's sake. It probably wasn't necessary and then I just let it dry. These are the three different ribbons I used and the different size flowers I made. This is the floral foam wreath that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and this um, burlap kind of ribbon I believe I got from Michaels. And I'm just going to take the sticker off and you'll see how simple it is to make this wreath. I just wrap this burlap ribbon around the wreath. Once I was done, I secured the ends with hot glue, I glued on these different pieces of greenery, and now I'm just playing with the flowers where I would like to place them, kind of figuring it out. Once I figured it out, I just hot glued them on.